Russian court sentences WNBA star Brittany Griner to nine years on drug charges. The widely expected verdict comes after a month-long trial and nearly six months after the basketball star was arrested at a Moscow-area airport with cannabis vape cartridges in her luggage. The judge sentenced Griner to nine years in prison. Her charges carried up to 10 years, and the Russian prosecution had requested a sentence of nine years and six months in a penal colony. The trial's outcome was not unusual given that Russian criminal courts have a reported conviction rate of 99%. But it appears that Griner's fate will now be decided in the political arena. The Biden administration, under public pressure to secure her release, has tried to negotiate with Russia to free her as well as another jailed American, Paul Whelan. Russia has said any potential deal, including a rumored prisoner swap that could see the U.S. release notorious Russian arms dealer Victor Bout, would have to wait until after the court's verdict. In a statement released shortly after the verdict, President Biden called Griner's sentence one more reminder of what the world already knew, Russia is wrongfully detaining Britney. It's unacceptable, and I call on Russia to release her immediately so she can be with her wife, loved ones, friends, and teammates," he added. Secretary of State Antony Blinken echoed that pledge in a statement of his own, in which he said the court's decision puts a spotlight on our significant concerns with Russia's legal system and the Russian government's use of wrongful detentions to advance its own agenda, using individuals as political pawns. Russia, and any country engaging in wrongful detention, represents a threat to the safety of everyone traveling, working, and living abroad," Blinken continued. The United States opposes this practice everywhere. Griner admitted to making an honest mistake. Earlier on Thursday, as the two sides delivered closing remarks, Griner's defense attorney called for her to be acquitted or for the court to show leniency in any punishment she's given. The 31-year-old also spoke on her own behalf. I made an honest mistake and I hope that in your ruling that it doesn't end my life here," Griner said. The Olympian and NBA champion says she must have put the cannabis in her bag by mistake. Her defense team notes that Griner has a medical marijuana card in Arizona to help her cope with injuries sustained over years of competition. But personal cannabis possession is illegal under any circumstances in Russia, similar to U.S. federal law. In their closing arguments, Griner's defense attorney cited Griner's contributions to the growth of Russian women's basketball and detailed irregularities in her arrest and detention, including a lack of access to qualified translators, in arguing for Griner's acquittal or at least a lenient sentence. Her lawyers also noted that the basketball star was prescribed medical marijuana by a U.S. doctor to treat chronic pain in the offseason, and still had never failed a drug test. What does this show? Said defense counsel Maria Blagovalina. It shows that Brittany Griner used marijuana only at home and only in very small doses and that she had no intention to bring the substance into Russia. In her final statement to the judge, Griner reiterated that she never intended to break any laws or hurt anyone. She apologized to her Russian teammates for any damage she may have caused, adding that this is my second home and all I wanted to do was win championships and make them proud. Griner was arrested in February, one week before Russian President Vladimir Putin invaded Ukraine. Her detention quickly led to speculation that Putin's government wants to use her as leverage against the US.
Griner alluded to that in her closing remarks to the judge on Thursday. I know everybody keeps talking about political pawn and politics, but I hope that is far from this courtroom, she said.